So Gary Coleman, we've had him on the show. We've had him on over the years, and he finally made a visit to us, uh, I don't know, uh, I think in the summer. Yeah. And he's a miserable He's a middle, miserable little fella. He, he really certainly is, is man. And, he, and we knew that, and we could have poked at him, but we really wanted to get into why he's so miserable, and he gave me some good stuff. He fucking hates Hollywood. He fucking hates his parents. He fucking hates being short. And we had a we we really got into it with him in a good he way. He stayed the same size when he was valuably cute. Oh god! And but his face changed but into he, he got all old. old face. Yeah, yeah. And his skin doesn't look good, like Ant was saying. He's well, had he's, health problems, and uh, I don't know. He's been a security guard. He's an icon. He's, he's missed. He's he's got to be an Gary icon Coleman with no money. Has to be yeah. in the top ten all time iconic figures. What yeah. you talking about, Willis? Was massive. That fucking show that was fucking huge. It was promoted like months before it ever came out, and then when it came out, it was just a giant hit. They're like, oh, him and Todd, oh, look at Todd, Todd Bridges, kid. Todd Bridges, and then the dead fucking little blonde girl, mm. <laughs> Dana, Dana Plato. Plato. Dana Plato. They yeah. just were famous, dude. Yeah, Mrs. Yeah. Garrett, which who who spinned off? Yeah, a show. With which is a gr a big time iconic show and it's in itself, of and and Gary Coleman when he was a little kid the first two seasons, but but he was a little kid when he used to do Buck Rogers he oh, he yeah, was yeah. the the kid star of all time without yeah. him Shirley Temple probably neck and neck, and yep. and when he started getting older. And what you talking about? Willis wasn't cute no more. He started getting grown man face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sporting, and then he, sporting some stubble. <laughs> his piece of shit parents stole his money, and that, and he is nothing worse than being the martyr or what do you call it? The the, the the founder of bad shit being fixed. Yeah, like, yeah. We're gonna make a law. So that this doesn't happen <laughs> to any other, to kids, any to other child, you but it fucked. happened to you. That's You're good. fucked. You, you know yeah. who got residuals? You know what show made residuals like the big thing? Gilligan's Island. Oof. They fucking, yep. those people get nothing. And they go, D we can't have that. But hey. Gary fucking Coleman, uh, hey, 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 his parents, he, he, you know. He got fucked. He yeah. got fucked bad. He's yep. a bitter man, and, and we knew it, but we didn't really poke at him. No but our other house can get that money robbed because of Gary. Right. Yeah. Our listeners are assholes, though, because I said, look, we didn't really poke fun of him. And Brian L. from Florida writes, assholes, you didn't poke fun at him. You had Sam sing the Different Strokes theme song right to his face. Oh, he didn't no. care. <laughs> he liked it. He did roll his eyes. So he was on The Insider the other night. And uh, the the uh, I fucking hate this show, but I do watch to hate it. And uh, they went after Gary until fucking Gary couldn't take it anymore. So now it's Gary's problem that he uh. lost his mind on uh, TV. This is how it went down. You know what? If people would want to believe that I assault my wife at four foot seven and she's five foot six, then they can believe that all day long. I don't care. Well, why don't you flat out deny it then, right here? Because otherwise, everyone's gonna look at this and say he's waffling around, and he probably I don't did it. Waffle. There is no abuse that goes on in my house. I don't waffle. Now, if people believe that I'm waffling, then they can go do what they did need to do. Did you abuse your wife? Did you abuse her? Did you lay uh, your hand on her? And you know what? You can go the same place. Did you lay you your hands on your wife, Gary Coleman? Because she says you did. yourself in the ocean. She says you did. <laughs> you know what? I have this on my head because I fell down the stairs. I don't want people thinking that my wife is abusing Why me. Why don't you want to answer the question about whether you abused because your you wife? And everything else. Pardon me? You can go yourself. Really? And quit asking me. Is that the me. way you talk to your wife? Yes. Fuck you. Dude, can Why? I say? Fuck you, Todd. The greatest joke I've heard in the last fucking week. This guy, a friend of mine, Tony Roberts, did a special on Showtime. He goes, every 12 seconds, there's a woman hitting this country. He goes, but they don't tell you every eight seconds. There's a guy saying, bitch, you better get the fuck out of my face. You got four seconds to get the fuck out of my face. Oh, that's brilliant. This cunt is in Gary's fucking is she face. Doing? Leave the little motherfucker alone. Antagonizing him with a violent way. Like, what are like you going to do? Like a prosecutor. She's fucking like a prosecutor. Well, I think she might be one of those lawyer bros. Well, fuck, she's not on then, in court. Yeah, and he doesn't. Did you abuse your wife? Is that the way you talk to your wife? Yeah, yeah, that's the way I talk yeah, to her when well, she's, she's being, being a, cunt. a cunt like right. you Thank are you. right now. He, and he doesn't owe her a fucking answer. He doesn't oh. owe her shit. Whether you abuse your wife and everything else.
out. Pardon me? You can go yourself. Really? And quit asking me. Is that me. the way you talk to your wife? Oh. Yeah, if I have to, if I need to, but I don't. And, and I don't know you, and I don't care about and you. And is this the kind and of your anger that leads to your physical assault? doesn't matter to me. Let me tell you so what I'm going to ask you. Life you doesn't matter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Or get Listen. hit by a bus tonight. Hey, hey, I'm hey. not going to care because she's pushing my buttons, and I don't like her now. Right, Gary. And the next thing Why I'm going to do tonight? is leave. So all of you. There you go, Gary. Gary, come back. No, ah, uh, come back. Yeah. The only reason they want him to come Smack back because they want more of that. They want yeah. more of that. You know, bravo to fucking Gary yeah, Coleman. Gary Coleman should have said, "What he, you he, talking he, about, bitch?" He yeah. goes, "I hope you get hit by a bus." God, God bless him. God, God bless him. Gary Coleman. That get was him after on the he told her to drown in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shitty shit. Damn. This is what these shows do. And then they're surprised when someone loses their shit. She antagonized him. We got it's more, like you, by the way. You, you, you listen to certain interviews, one, like, uh, you know, certain things. I know that we all have certain things that stand out. And one of those, one time, was uh, Alonzo Mourning, probably 10 to 15 years ago, got a big contract, $90 million, played basketball. And the guy goes, what are you going to do with your money? And I go, in my heart, I go, God damn, I just put myself there. Like, what would I say? Yeah. And Alonzo's like, I'm going to give a million dollars to the fucking children's diabetes. I just want, you know, you go, I'm going to buy a diamond hat <laughs> and a fucking <laughs> island and, with poor people being <laughs> building statues to me. And then I'm going to just throw money in the water. <laughs> like, how, how dare you ask me what the <laughs> fuck I'm going to do? God, I wish uh, an athlete would have that answer. Uh, I, would, <laughs> I would fall off the couch laughing. I would be like, right oh, the fucking funny, man. <laughs> that is good. And then, fucking, I hope you get hit by a bus. Yeah. Like, women think you're not supposed to feel violent towards them when they're being cunts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, then Gary leaves, and the panel reflects on what happens. So let's oh, see. They do. Let's see them reflecting here, or let's listen to them reflecting. We talked about what had just happened. I thought it was almost going to get violent with you, Lisa. I got scared for you. Well, oh, oh God. God, shut up! I got scared for you. I thought it was going to be violent. Oh my God, violent! She was the aggressor. We talked about what had just happened. I thought it was almost going to get violent with you, Lisa. I got scared for you. Well, this is what cross-examination in court is like. And if you have questions that you don't want to answer, you have to hide and hide and obfuscate. And eventually, he couldn't take the heat. He didn't want to answer the question. Well, I tell you what, I'm not an attorney, but I am a mother. And I was ready to put him over my knee and spank him. I'll tell you that. Oh, shit, girl. Nisi, Nisi, put him up. First of all, she you know her name, right? I hate Nisi, that broad. Nisi Nash. I she, hate Nisi Nash yeah. she degrades him by uh, implying that she's going to, you know, put him over her knee like a child. He is a grown man. And, and that, these fucking there's, there's ways you biatches. get money. There's ways you get money. And it's, I, I know Nisi. She's a, a nice, a, a lot of the girls that really I, I know her. Mm -hmm. No, a uh, couple other ones. And there's a way that you get a, a foot in Hollywood if you're a black woman. Yeah. And you have to be fucking you Aunt have to Jemima. Do that. You have to do <laughs> You cannot just be a normal, like, <clears throat> you know, that I, I was nervous. You have to go, oh, shit. You got to be sassy. It, you, it's no place for you if you ain't going, honey. Hun, uh, uh, like she can't be normal like this white bitch who can just cross examine. She go, she got to say something really. I da, my, uh, uh, time out, no. Mm. I da, time out. It would, it would be what you talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me a break. I sure deserve it. It's time I make it to the top, Chief. Chief, <laughs> you better shut up, Chief. Give me a break. I was looking for it. Uh, uh. You better watch out because I'm going to flush you down the toilet and then plunge you back up and flush you again. Ow, ow, ow. Give me a break. God damn it, Patrice. That's the biggest laugh of the week. Oh, fucking nailed it. What the that fuck? Aunt Jemima shit, and she's not that. No. She's on there for, I'm telling you, she's on there. That's the place they have. That is like, yeah, they they need one of those you need that that bitchy cunty uh, uh <clears throat> prosecutor white woman you need the sassy black woman 
to give the mm-hmm point of view. And where's the dude? This is what I'm saying. On television, there's no dude. There's guys, no. but there's nobody going, what? Yeah, what are you Leave talking about? Leave that motherfucker alone. You were the one giving him shit yeah. the second he sat down. I wanted to knock you in your fucking mouth, yeah. bitch. Oh, he Screaming didn't Screaming shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, what are you in his face? If you stand up, Gary, I am still. Oh, oh shit. my back, sorry, about <laughs> uh, sorry. sorry about that, All right, Mr. Coleman. Let, let's listen as they uh, continue continue to reflect. And I was ready to put him over my knee and spank him. Oh. I'll tell you that. And it's very interesting that the one thing he did say was that he was coming on to set the rumors about him straight, and he did nothing but create more rumors. It was heartbreaking. It really yeah. was. That guy, by the way, Patrice. Do you watch The Insider? I, no, I'm always watching the end. I, I will point it out every fucking time. That's a that's a white dude. He's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And when the Tiger Woods thing uh, went down, he goes, "Well, I, Tiger Woods owes me an apology." Really? Aww. Exactly. Thank you. That's all you need to say. Really? And finally, uh, they get a body language expert on what? Gary Coleman is out of control. He needs a lot of help. To get a deeper perspective on Gary's behavior, we turn to body language expert Dr. Lillian Glass. You I'm going to say, because my mind, I, I got to say it now. If they want to collude, and I, the, the, the they is vague. Yeah. If they want to collude you into being fucked up, no matter what you do, you can't fight it. No. So the only thing you can do is go, yeah, I'm that. So, Mr. O'Neill, do you like rape? To some degree. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> it's tasty. <laughs> it because if I go, man, are you fucking kidding? If you try to defend yourself right. reasonably, they'll bring in a body language guy to go, did you see how he raised his finger? Yeah, that means. Did you means see what he did? Rapity rape, rape, rape. Yes, man. <laughs> like, they, they can collude and make you sound like you're a yeah. fucking maniac. Gary Coleman now, this sick kid, yeah. this very weak man. Mm -hmm. Who's scared of women, by the way, because when he when he got in trouble with the uh, hitting that that big black woman who said, you better give me your autograph, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. He he had to protect himself from her and she sued him. But Gary was so weak. And so I, I he goes I and he's embarrassed mm -hmm. to say things like I'm four feet. <laughs> I'm sick. My hands are frail. <laughs> I can't even beat a woman. Yeah. The guy is fucking sad. He should be dead. Yeah. He will. This, this kid, man. He, he will be. This kid. He's he will 40. be soon, too. I know. He will be soon. bad for I him. mean, and at the end of the day, you know, that's he's not a yeah. woman fucking beater, man. Yeah. Got him for Brooklyn rights. I don't believe. Uh, did Sam Kinison say this? I don't believe in hitting women, but I understand what turns Mr. Hand into Mr. Fist. <laughs> oh, shit. I know a lot about Sam Kinison. I don't remember him ever saying that line. That's, that's, I, that's, I, a, that's I, a great line. I think line. I do remember that one. Uh, uh, oh, wait, what is this? I don't know if there's a compliment or some shit coming your way, Aunt. Julia right. in Texas. Julia? I don't care. Yes. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hi. I just wanted to say my husband listens to y'all show all the time, and I don't know who called uh, Nisi Mouse Ancient Mama, but that shit is fucking hilarious. More people need to stand up and talk about black women like that on TV because them bitches do act like fucking... That's how they... Yeah, that's, that's the Pat only... That was Patrice O'Neal. That's the do. only... I'm a black woman myself. Yeah, but see, that's the only way we certain people can get a job. And look it, I don't blame them because that's what the only way they can get a job is to go, uh-huh. Let me tell you something. If you watch any TV... Every black woman on TV that gets a job is a variation of a bitch that goes, uh-huh. It's, exactly. it's either a loud, uh-uh, like the fucking Pine Saw lady who goes, yeah. oh, you yeah. better clean this up, yeah. this mess. Exactly. Or exactly. a fucking quiet version like the Popeye's chicken lady who goes, you got to eat some delicious Cajun Spice Popeye. <laughs> it's, it's Aunt Jemima shit, man. I'm going to think about that all day. Telling you, though. <laughs> and, well, the white Jemima. guy looks like a complete asshole on uh, TV now. Uh, uh, so. uh, uh, and and now we been. got the black woman look like Aunt Jemima. Yep. So. Yeah. All right, Julia, right on. I, I, thank you. I, we appreciate yeah. you listening, all right? Thank you. We're trying to bring a little more color into this radio show. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's good to know you're out there. Thank Just don't you. move into my neighborhood. <laughs> all right, Julia. <laughs>
Jesus <laughs> you, You're just a darling nigglet. What's wrong know. with you motherfuckers? <laughs> and, and get that labia clip. What's the, <laughs> you motherfuckers. We don't, mind, we don't mind that they're part of our radio neighborhood. <laughs> yes. We need Nordic labia. Nordic. All right, here's the last uh, part of that clip. Uh, the body language uh, expert. For Dr. Lillian Glass. You can see the veins in his head pop out, yeah, literally. Cause he yeah, because he's anger. ill. She's pushing my buttons, it's his blood pressure. and I don't like her now. The finger point, really angry. At this point, he could have been very dangerous to Lisa. Oh, my, okay. Thank right, goodness right, he off. walked off the set. Look, look, look. They are fucking executing him. For what for what he didn't do, which they like anything. Yeah. Now they bring in, so you don't say anything. You, you you never say you beat your wife or anything like that. And then they <clears throat> they get a body language expert, whoever the fuck that is, to say that he was being dangerous. Well, what the fuck? The guy walked away. He walked away. How dangerous is but that? But see, women they they don't even want you to think. Uh, oh God! Like they don't even want you to think what you want to think. No. Like it's just like no. Really? I, let me. They, did the, they started the whole fucking thing. Do you think that men should hit women? No, uh, no but I think that men right. should have the right to think uh, about it. All right, here's God. here's two guys that, all, that <laughs> yeah. also allegedly hit women. Oh, yeah. Would this bitch act the same way if it was Mike Tyson, or even oh, more current oh, oh. Evander Holyfield? Oh, he socked this girl? Supposedly. Over, and Charlie Sheen. Oh, I, I bet she was screaming money, Charlie Sheen about it. Evander Holyfield supposedly hit his wife over uh, money that they were going to give oh, to a church or something. I laughed about that. That was like, yeah. bitch. But she you, said, we ain't got no money. Would they be that brave, though? <laughs> Hell, I mean, we I all know they, the answer, obviously. I think they would be that brave with Charlie. They would test Charlie. Charlie Sheen? Yeah, I think they would. Not Evander Holyfield, not no, fucking no, Tyson. No. Maybe uh, Holyfield... Because he has a control level about him, but she certainly wouldn't have did that shit to Tyson. Hell fucking no. Certainly wouldn't have. Uh, I encourage people out there to take a peek at this, The Insider, it's called, on uh, CBS, I think, uh, just so you could get enraged. Because we talk about it from time to time this show. Mm. They're unbelievable. They really are. Poor Gary Coleman. We're trying to God get him on damn. the phone. It ain't happening. His skin is like, he's gray. He looks like an alien now. It's, it's, you know, the grays? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they call him grays. Mm -hmm. He's looking like an alien. But that's beyond ashy. That is super ashy. 